Every night this week, we've started the news with wildfires growing and burning out of control, and tonight is no different. Another new fire started burning today and forced more evacuations, and we learned a fire near Glenwood Springs has spared uh, the popular hiking spot, Hanging Lake. First, let's show you where these uh, four big fires are burning right now. Take a look at this map. This is the newest is the Williams Fork Fire that's burning south of Hot Sulphur Springs in Grand County. Then there's the Cameron Peak Fire in Larimer County, the Grizzly Creek Fire east of Glenwood Springs, and the largest is the Pine Gulch Fire. The Cameron Peak Fire started burning near Chambers Lake on Thursday. That's about 60 miles west of Fort Collins. It's since grown to more than seven square miles. The fire was burning mostly north of Highway 14 today. Tonight, the Forest Service says that a small fire has sparked on the south side of Highway 14, which is still closed. More than a dozen campgrounds and some ranches in the area have evacuated. Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckel spent the day in Poudre Canyon talking with evacuees. Roads anywhere near the Cameron Peak Fire, they're all closed, but you can see smoke all over northern Colorado. Here on the eastern edge of Poudre Canyon, you can see over the peak smoke is coming over gray and brown, and the skies are very, very hazy. For the past two days, voluntary and mandatory evacuations have pushed campers, hikers, even residents out of the danger of the fire. Oh my God, it looks so bad. So we are about uh, five miles north of where the hot spots are right now. Close Maybe enough that spot. Meg Dyer it is close. and her Dyer husband had to evacuate the Rewa Guest Ranch. We have been the general managers for six years. Um, it's always been a guest ranch since 1950, so a lot of history. So um, a little worried. We've got sprinklers on the roof and praying that that'll keep things down. Her team found this not far from the ranch on Thursday and everybody moved quickly. So we had about 12 guests and everybody, even the guests rallied. All of them drove their own vehicles, so they helped move the horses down. So yeah, it went it went actually smoothly, as smoothly as moving 60 head and taking 12 guests and 20 staff members out of the ranch. In the Rewa wilderness, they expect the occasional fire. But this is the first scary fire as this and a mandatory evacuation, which is even scarier. Like Dyer, firefighters are worried. It's really dry and there is plenty of risk. There is a lot of beetle kill up there. So, and we were just talking that it's, it was just a matter of time that it's gonna happen, but yeah, there's a lot of beetle kill. The U.S. Forest Service has closed portions of Arapaho and Roosevelt National Forests. More than a dozen campgrounds evacuated. The air smells smoky. The skies are hazy and the fire is still growing. Right now they're safe, but we'll see see how long that, that stays. Today, Dyer told us that she planned to meet back up with her husband and some of her staff members to check on the horses that they already moved once to see if they needed to move them once again, even further away from the fire. Tonight, Cameron Pass is still closed, and CDOT says Highway 14 is closed to traffic from Walden on the west side to about Rustic on the east side. In Fort Collins, Jennifer Meckles, 9 News. A fire that began in Grand County today has quickly grown to more than two square miles. No containment on the Williams Fork Fire, which is burning through trees and beetle kill near Hot Sulphur Springs, west of Granby. People living in the immediate vicinity of that fire aren't being allowed home tonight, and campgrounds nearby have been evacuated as well. Evacuation orders are still in effect because the Grizzly Creek Fire in Glenwood Canyon. Uh, people living on Coffee Pot Road specifically, as well as in homes west of Dotsero into the canyon, need to leave. The 1,000 people living in Dotsero are under pre-evacuation orders at this point tonight. The evacuation center moved to Battle Mountain High School in Edwards today. Emergency officials say the more than 13,000 acre fire will continue to burn for some time. This one started on Monday. I-70 is still closed through the canyon and we talked to firefighters. They say those flames have come down the highway in multiple places. So Governor Jared Polis warned today that I-70 won't be back open for at least the next two or three days. CDOT has reopened Independence, Independence Pass, however, which also closed because of the Grizzly Creek fire. Traffic will be limited and likely slow. There will be alternating traffic along the pass, so expect some stops and delays, maybe even up to about two hours. Only cars, SUVs, and vans are allowed. That means no semi-trucks, camper trailers, or RVs. CDOT did shut down the pass earlier this week because of the heavier than normal traffic and trucks getting stuck. I was just informed that the uh, Grizzly Creek fire is actually the top fire priority in the entire nation right now. So resources are coming from around uh, the country. 
Governor Polis met with first responders at the Grizzly Creek Fire Command Center in Eagle this morning. You heard him mention that the fire is the top priority in all of America. We've heard that from firefighters as well. We're curious about how this priority system works and what that tangibly means for firefighters on the ground. So we talked to the Rocky Mountain Area Command Center, RMAC. It's the agency that coordinates wildland firefighters across the Mountain West. They told us that our entire area is considered the top priority because of the number of big fire Fires we have burning now and the potential for more. And in that area, the Grizzly Creek Fire is the number one priority here because of its impacts to critical infrastructure like I-70 and the railroad that goes through Glenwood Springs. Being number one in this case means that the fire will get more resources like air tankers assigned to it. Though today, RMAC said some of those resources had to head to the Williams Fork Fire instead. There were concerns the Grizzly Creek fire damaged one of Colorado's most beloved landmarks, but now we know the immediate area around Hanging Lake luckily is intact. Firefighters say the fire had burned the area around the lake. The boardwalk area was not damaged. Smoke in the area could be still an issue, though. Hiking to Hanging Lake not allowed right now. Uh, there were a few people who made their way up there on Monday, capturing the moment the Grizzly Creek fire began to grow. It's right there. The fire's right there. Do you see that? When you're actually trapped from a wildfire, the canyon becomes completely terrifying. It felt apocalyptic a little bit. Erin Schultz was able to enjoy Hanging Lake for about 40 minutes before the flames and smoke sent her and other hikers down the trail. Erin made it safely back to her car. CDOT escorted her and others through a closed portion of I-70. Biggest fire burning in our state is one that we haven't talked about so far in this program, the Pine Gulch Fire north of Grand Junction. It's grown to 114 square miles, big enough to become the state's fourth largest wildland fire, fire, fire ever recorded. Containment's low, 7% at this point. Firefighters say that lightning started that fire two weeks ago. 